name is Tim Gerhardt. I'm from LabStrong. Today we're going to learn how to replace a condenser from the 5-Stream 3 8 liter per hour system. Now we're going to remove the door from the 8 liter per hour 5-Stream 3 system. The 5-Stream 3 4 liter per hour system, single distilled, has the same type of door, it's just a little smaller. So you're just basically going to lift up, pull out on the bottom, pull the top down, and you remove the door. Set that aside. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the top cover. Top cover for the 8 liter, 4 liter by distiller, same size. The top cover for the 4 liter by stream 3 is just a little smaller, but it still has the same two blanking plugs that you're going to remove from the top. A Phillips head screwdriver, two Phillips head screws. Just going to go ahead, remove the screws from the front. Once those are loose, Pop the front up, and then the back are just two bolts that are elongated in elongated holes. Just slide it ahead until you find the opening, and then pop the top cover off and remove it. Set that aside. Now that we have the top removed and the door, we're going to go ahead and remove the condenser. But for demonstration purposes, I've actually removed the right side system, all the glassware, so we can see this a lot easier. First thing you want to do is to go ahead and grab a hold of the top of the condenser and then grab the constant level device and then pull down on the constant level device. Now if this won't slide, you'll have to take a, a knife and cut this lengthways and peel this silicone sleeve around because with the condenser you do get a new silicone sleeve. But in this case we can slide this down and set the constant level aside. And now we're gonna go ahead and remove the tubing, your inlet tubing and your outlet tubing to the condenser. And then we'll slide the condenser away from the boiler. Now tubing is typically adhered to the glass components because this is a silicone tube. The heat will adhere to it. So you won't be able to get the tube off once it's on there for any length of time. Just take a knife, cut it down, peel that around and then I'll pull the tube right off. Now that we have the inlet to the condenser tubing removed, we're going to remove the outlet tubing from the condenser and simply slice straight down, peel the tubing around, that'll pull the tube right off. The next item we're going to remove is the dislet elbow. This is where your dislet water comes out, slide that down, remove the red cap and then the seal comes with it. Now that we have the constant level device removed and all the tubing, if you can slide the sleeve down off the condenser, go ahead, otherwise you can cut it lengthways to peel that around. The same with the condenser to the boiler connection, this sleeve as well, if you can't slide the condenser back, you'll have to cut it lengthways and peel it around. In this case, this will let us slide that back away. You simply pull out on the condenser, the sleeve comes with it. You're gonna remove the old sleeve. Again, if you can't get the sleeve to come off that way, you're gonna to have to cut it lengthways. Get your old condenser, set that aside. Take your sleeve, the inner sleeve for the boiler, which we will get new with the condenser. Remove the old one, and then we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the new one. Here's our new sleeve, inner sleeve, reinstall that until it comes up to this edge. That's as far as it'll go. Make sure that this slotted hole is open. Take your new condenser with the sleeving on it in place. Slide the condenser back onto the boiler until it goes all the way, till the sleeve goes all the way to the back of the boiler. Put our new sleeve on the bottom of the condenser for our constant level device. Take our constant level device, slide that back up inside. You want to leave yourself about 16th of an inch gap because you don't want a glass to glass connection. So slide it up so you get just about a 16th of an inch gap right in there. Turn that to the proper position. Now we'll reconnect all of our connect fittings. This is for our distillate. Got our seal inside of there. 
It's our distal tubing elbow connector. Our inlet. Sometimes you may need to dip the tube in water or put water on the fitting. Slide the tubing up in there and give it a little bit more ease of installation. Up above the ridge, a little bit, quarter inch is all you need. That'll definitely hold the tube in place. Now that we have the inlet tubing connected, we're going to connect up the outlet tubing from the condenser. Sometimes you can put a little bit of water on the tubing and the fitting here to slide that up there, make it a little easier to install. Slide it up until it stops on this edge right there. You've got the ridge right here. As long as the tubing is about a quarter inch above that ridge, this will hold it in place. Once it heats, it'll actually adhere the tubing to the glass so it won't go anywhere. Now that you completed the component replacement on the 5 Stream 3 system, we're going to put the top cover back on. Again, it has the two screws in the front, and then we've got our two bolts in the back that slide into the elongated holes in the back. So first you want to locate those. Once you've located those, you just slide it back until the front matches. Taking your Phillips head screwdriver, you're going to tighten one side down. Once they're tight, put your blanking plugs back in. Grab your door cover. You always want to operate the system with the door in place. Simply locate the slots in the front, then slide it down into the slots in the bottom. And your door's in place. You've completed your installation. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.